The UK government has recently spent as much as £5 million on a technology that can help the police track and monitor protests, so I'm looking at what the effects of that might be. In my last video, I explained why the police were able to go into BLM protests and arrest people, even if they hadn't committed a crime at the protest. In this video, I'll explain what protest recognition technology is actually doing when it claims to detect an event like a protest. First of all, companies that claim to do protest detection don't just use a single technology, but a set of technologies that all work together to try to work out if a dangerous protest is likely to be occurring. This involves training different kinds of AI systems to make decisions about what a potentially dangerous protest might look like. Because this process involves AI and it's partly automated, so it doesn't have humans making decisions at every stage, we might feel that this means that it's not influenced by social inequality. In other words, that it's neutral. But that's not the case. Geophilia train their algorithms on conversations between BLM activists and on their social media posts. This included conversations between predominantly black kids at a high school in Baltimore and posts with hashtags like BLM and defund the police. That means that when it looks for future protests, it will look for conversations, photos, and activists that resemble the ones from BLM. So predominantly people of color holding signs with BLM slogans. This is what a dangerous protest will then look like in the eyes of protest recognition. But the violence of these technologies doesn't just come from bad training data. You can't just take bias out of these systems. It will always target causes that question the power of law enforcement. Remember, police in the USA partnered with Geophilia to track and suppress BLM and anti-Islamophobia activism, but not, it seems, to monitor Capitol Hill and other right-wing protests. Police in the UK now also have the capability to use protest recognition technology. You can bet that protest recognition technology is more likely to flag early signs of protests like these ones to the police. So if BLM, Extinction Rebellion and protests against imperialist statues are currently heavily policed, protest recognition software is more likely to flag these to the police as potential threats.